All right, folks, so here is the Balfang GT5R. Before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by Radio Oddity, and they asked if I would do a video review of this particular product. Now, stay tuned for the more in-depth review that we're working on for this particular radio, which is being billed as a legal FCC-compliant Balfang radio. But uh, for this video, what we want to do is we want to power test this, and that's part of the testing that we do when we evaluate any new equipment. So I want to say thanks to Radio Oddity for sending this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. And uh, let's just jump into it. I'm going to have to take off the supplied antenna. And this is a dual band antenna for two meters and 70 centimeters because the radio is a dual band radio. And one of the pieces of equipment that we use is this Nisei SWR and power meter. Now, I'm not under any illusions that this is a high-tech piece of lab equipment. It's not NIST certified, but it will give us an idea of the power output of this particular Balfang. And then we are going to feed this power meter into the MFJ261 uh, dry dummy load. Uh, it goes DC to 500 megahertz, it's 50 ohms, and it handles up to 15 watts, which should be plenty for us to do this testing. So let me just go ahead and set everything up. Well, we're also gonna use a jumper to go from the Balfang to the Nisei RS40. I want to make sure that my connections are secure. Now, I'm sure some folks are going to say, Ape, that jumper is going to insert some loss. And uh, if you feel that way, I'd love to hear all about it down in the comments. And would you look at that? We're going to need one more piece. Fortunately, I keep something like this on hand for just such an occasion. Okay, and we have been rescued. Okay, we are wired up and we are ready to go. Let me power on the Balfang. Frequency mode. Okay, I am at uh, 2 meter frequency 146520, connected into the Nisei RS40. My range is set for 15 watts. That's the lowest it will go. And then my function is set to power. And we should be good to go. Let me go ahead and key it up. So on the scale, it looks like we are just under 4 watts or right at 4 watts. I don't have a problem with that. I feel that that's pretty good. Let me switch down to the uh, 440 or 70 centimeter segment and go ahead and key it up. And it looks like we are right on 4 watts there as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let me go into the menu and show that our text power is set to high. So according to the uh, manual and the manufacturer's website or the retailer's website, it says four watts is what you can expect out of this radio with a high of five watts. So that's good. In the past, I've tested Balfangs that put out two watts on their high settings. So we're happy about that. Menu. Let's go ahead and set this to low. Power. Confirm. Okay, and let's go back up to the two meter segment. Okay, now that we are on the low setting, it's supposed to put out one watt. Let's go ahead and test two meters. And that looks like it's putting out more than that. It looks like it's putting out just over three. So I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't really have an, a use case where I need to use this at just one watt. So um, I'm content there. Let's go ahead and switch down to the um, 70 centimeter or 440 segment. And then when I key that up, it is just above one watt. So what are our takeaways from here? It seems to be pretty accurate on 70 centimeters for 40. It's a little high on the low setting for two meters, and it's just under five watts, um, which is fine on the uh, two meter segment. Okay, so this is the part in the video where I say thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Radio Oddity for sending this out to me. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond.